my name is Anise and now that you have your main indicator, which is, for example is carbon footprint for the topic of global warming, we're now going to create a systems map. Now as you can see here, this is a visual representation of a systems map which contains all the processes or the negative externalities that carbon footprint emits. And so we're going to give you an example of a certain loop. Be minded though that you will have several loops that will interlink with each other because there are several causes and effects that are interconnected. So for carbon footprint for the compass point nature, we will have greenhouse gas emissions and this is an eventual effect because the arrow is moving outside of carbon footprint and then this greenhouse gas emission will eventually become a certain cause and then it will produce another effect, for example the frequency of extreme weather cases or natural disasters. And so this will eventually become another cause to another effect which will affect the economy and then it will go to budget and then research and development also known as R&D. And now R&D will span up into two different different directions. It can either affect the advancement in industry or affect the use of clean technologies. Either way, it will eventually lead back to the carbon footprints. And so basically what you come to realize as you come around the loop is that it becomes a vicious cycle. And so that's what you need to do with your systems map is that when you come out of the carbon footprint indicator, you'll also have to come back in.